Alright guys, so since I got my Nook, I've been using it pretty much all day long. And I've got to say that this thing is awesome. Um, and I got kind of impatient and I decided to go ahead and hack it, I guess you could say. Um, but I hacked it in a certain way where the Nook itself is untouched. There's nothing, like you turn it on, it's completely stock, right? But when you power it off... All of the hacked stuff is on this little micro SD card right here. Open up the Nook. Get the card. Let's see if I can get it in. Alright, clicks into place. Close it up. I'll flip it over. Now we'll go ahead and boot it on again. And it says Cyanogen Mod. So as you can see already, it's not, you know, the same Nook startup. Give it a minute to boot up. And this thing is awesome, guys. Um, I mean, you've got the Nook side for your your ebooks and things like that, which has got the really cool setup. And then pop in the card, and you've got it's uh, literally like a full on Android tablet now. Um, I can't believe I, it actually has quicker speeds on the hack side than the non hack side. It, no lag whatsoever. Um, everything works completely fine. Like, let me show you guys. Um, the wi Fi works. The. Um, where is it at? I'm blind here. Okay. Market works fine. All the Wi-Fi works completely, uh, you know, as it would normally. You just heard Skype sign on right there. So um, this thing is super cool. And um, the cool thing about having it like this is that if for some reason something happens to your Nook, you're not voiding your warranty at all because... Um, it's not affecting the actual hard drive partition um, that's on the Nook. It's everything takes place on the micro SD card, which is uh, to me pretty insane. And uh, it wasn't hard to do this at all. I found some tutorials on YouTube um, and I started following them, but I didn't like them at all. They're really complicated and confusing, and none of them seemed to work out for me. And I ended up finding a really simple tutorial um, that I actually might make a video of. If you guys let me know if you guys are interested and want me to make a tutorial. Um, but if uh, if you guys want, I will make a tutorial for you guys. But uh, this thing is awesome. So, like I said, everything works really great. My email works fine. Um, no lag. I'll start up some. Uh, let me start up this game for you guys. Just check out how there's no lag. This game is awesome. Yeah, but this thing has really impressed me. Like I said, I didn't want to root it because I didn't want to, um, you know, un avoid my warranty. And I also am I want to keep the Nook side because that's what I'm actually going to be programming Java for, studying the program Java apps for. So I want the whole Nook interface to test out my apps. But I, uh, in the meantime, I like the other side for being able to use all of the, the apps in the Android marketplace and things like that. So it's a really cool thing to have both. Might take a second to load up because this uh, game is pretty graphic heavy, but once the game starts up, there is no lag whatsoever. Really smooth. So as you guys can see, this thing is awesome, but um. Yeah, that's it guys, I'll just show you guys a quick demo of it, and uh, like I said, if you guys are interested, please comment and like, and I will go ahead and make a tutorial when I get the chance, alright? Well, this is Dolpster930, and this is my uh, dual, uh, dual booting nook. Thanks for watching, I'm out, peace.